Hello everyone, my name is uh, Tom and uh, I've been putting this off for a very long time. Um, this is my Prince of Persia Let's Play. I've not been able to do this because of various circumstances. Basically I have to wait for uh, my parents to be out of the house for it. So I don't have to, but basically I find talking to myself very embarrassing. Even now I feel quite embarrassed even though it's just me in the house. Anyway, I'm going to start the game. Uh, a little cutscene will play so I will shut up until that's over. So I hope you enjoy. Alright, now I have to walk through here. Then a cutscene should start. Oh, loading screen. It's been a long time since I've seen this. I think I've played this game like four times or so, but just uh, it's been a good year or so since I've heard it. Oh. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time. And I can tell you, they are wrong. <laughs> Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men who passed through India, <coughs> where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Oh, your Majesty, I trust you will remember your promise. The Maharaja's treasure vaults lie with you. See. Like a warrior, son. Ah, all right. I apologize if you can hear my laptop. Uh, sort of. Oh. Ah, well, okay. It's not, not important. But regrets, destruction of humanity, blah blah blah. Or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good work into a hell. <sighs> Come on. If you think so, you are mistaken. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. From that moment, I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in the first battle. Right. By the way, um... Oh. Ah, ah. Sorry. I need to change the options here. Right. Uh, inverted. Uh, hmm. Inverted. Ah, shut up. Uh, okay, confirm. Shall I go on? Back. Yeah. Uh, basically, I... I apologise if I'm a little annoying or boring during this, but I have been up been all up. night. Um, not that I've been partying or anything, you know, I, I enjoy the odd evening soiree, but um, I, 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 I hesitate to say that I suffer from insomnia because it's, you know people love to label themselves with things these days, um, but I do have quite a few sleepless nights, and last night was one of them unfortunately, uh, so yeah, I am sorry if I keep saying the same thing, or if I seem a little distracted. I find it very hard to talk compared to saying that anyway. Um, so yeah, I might as well talk a little bit about what I've been up to since I last did one of these commentary things. Um, so yeah, obviously I turned 18, as in my last commentary I was saying how oh, it's good for coming up to my uh, 18th birthday. But um, yeah, so that's come with all the freedoms and whatnot, like uh, I don't know if it's very popular or not, I mean obviously it's not very popular in places like America, but um, I, uh, I've been smoking, smoking for about a year now. Um, and I, I'm not going to bother. Oh, hang on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm not going to bother like ju trying to justify it anywhere or anything. But um, it's just something I enjoy doing. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't don't have to adversely affect my health or anything. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's really, I'm just rambling on. But I'm just talking about the freedoms of being a teen. Comes with. Mostly, it's been just drinking and like going out and whatnot. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll talk more about that later on. I put away sword. Climb up the old ladder. <clears throat> yeah, so basically, um, the reason why I've chosen this game uh, is because this was actually the very first uh, PS2 game I played. And I was just blown away by it. Um, oh, I love this little sort of cutscene at the end of each battle where he puts away his sword. Um, yeah, uh, I just, I was absolutely blown away by this way it looked, the way it played, everything about it. And 
I've always been Many the prince. Sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Kosro said to Rustam, "You are the noblest of my warriors." From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I've just been quiet then because you know he was doing some dialogue, and if you're interested in the story at all, then of course you'll uh, want to hear that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, the Prince of Persia games have always been a day one purchase for me. Um, actually, I remember getting the second one, Warrior Within, which is probably my favourite PS2 game of all time, uh, on the day of my 12th birthday, in fact, which came out in 2004, that was seven years ago, uh, almost seven years ago. Um, yeah, and I just I just adore every second of the Prince of Persia game history. So I'm probably being quite annoying just hacking these barrels to pieces, but I don't know, I'm a bit of a bit of a weirdo when it comes to just like completing various things. Um right, anyway, time to So oh god, oh god. Uh let's go up with the old the old classic Prince of Persia movie, you know, vaulting over them, hitting them once in the face, and ones down the middle. Let's see, that's in every Prince of Persia game, in fact, even the most recent Disney one, which is rather rubbish. Uh, well, not rubbish, but it's just like, I enjoy the story and everything, um, but it just lacked a lot of the character of the Prince of Persia games, I found, and um, it was far too easy, like, you know, you fall you fall through a gap, and this woman's hand just comes and grabs you, and you're just right where you, where you were before you, before you jump the gap, and there's just no challenge in life. That's uh, just one of the disadvantages of it being a Disney game, I suppose. Um, I never actually completed it, apparently it's had an amazing ending. Um, but again, I never got I never got to it because I, it just bored me to tears. Even though it was beautiful and cel shaded, and some of the vistas that you encountered were absolutely fantastic. Um, and it was, another thing, his voice was incredibly boring as well. He was voiced by Nolan North, and Nolan North was voiced as in like everything. I mean, he's best known now for the Uncharted series, in which he voiced as Nathan Drake. But he's prob probably the most prolific video game voice actor there is today. Like, um, in fact, so to such an extent that in Mafia Two. You can hear him having a conversation with himself because he's voiced two characters who, bizarrely, they made interact with each other on the street in Mafia 2. <clears throat> but yeah, this guy, the guy who voices this prince, his name begins with a Y. I think it's Yuli something. I um, can't quite remember the full thing. But yeah, he took a break from voicing the prince in the second one, in which they did a bit of a sort of a grittier version. He had sort of a really sort of a, a Batman growl to his voice. Um, but then they brought him back for the third one. Maybe they didn't like the second voice actor, or they, I don't know what what they wanted, but uh, the third one, the third game, uh, Two Thrones, uh, that's, yeah, that's what it's called, is a bit of an odd really, um, of the first and second game, in this it has most of the combat and sort of some of the personality of the second game, but it is reverts to the classic look of the prince and the fields of traversing these uh, sun-bleached Arabian uh, castles. Um, but yeah, basically, voice actors. Uh, I don't. I don't know why they didn't keep saying one. Um, and I mean, this guy. He's had quite a bit of work too. I just found out actually. I was looking at his Wikipedia page before, just before I started this. Uh, I keep. I keep trying to find this like Assassin's Creed. Um, uh, he's had quite a bit of work. He was in Fallout New Vegas, which actually I just completed yesterday. Apparently, there's lots of voices in that. I. I didn't identify him by any of them, but apparently. Uh, he was he also did some voices in Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. I'll talk about Metal Gear Solid later because I have recently fallen in love with that series. Um, which other games? Uh, Black Ops. You know, there's loads. The, the, the big ones, basically. And uh, yeah, I just I just love the opening to this game. Just, just, you can see everything in the distance here. Like, for for a, for a PS2 game which came around the sort of the midway in the PS2's lifetime, it's just a beautiful draw distance and everything. Like that. I just I just adore it. And uh, I apologise if it doesn't translate overly well in my video. I'm using a uh, Dazzle DVC 100, is it? Something like that? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, it's just an SD capture card, none of this fancy HD PBR stuff. But you know, this is a PSD game which is in SD anyway. This isn't from the HD collection or anything like that. Just plain old PS2. Let's back to these guys. Oh, right, uh, thank you. I hadn't, I hadn't been doing that in every battle so far. That's good to know. It's good information. Come at me, bro. Oh, God. Cool. Failed. Oh, I love the cameras in this. Actually, that, that was the one gripe most people had with this game. That was the camera. See if I can get a counter in. No. Nope. <laughs> play this game for the life of me. Um, what did I want to do? Anyway, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the camera was a bit of a problem in that. Especially in the later levels, like 
it just things tend to get in the way. Like, like if I wanted to climb up a wall or something, this this thing might get in the way. Uh, it's not too much of a problem right now. It's a bit of a pole climbing. Uh huh. Unless I want to, to climb column. Slow mo jump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is a sign of my tiredness. I used to be just a boss at this game, but again, I haven't played it in so long, and I'm very tired, uh, a bit cranky. I'm going to have to get some Pro, Pro Plus later on, which I, if, I don't know if Pro Plus is available worldwide, so if you're watching this and you're from the States or something like that, Pro Plus is basically a caffeine pill you can buy. I think it's, I think you can buy it in any shop, really. It's not just in chemists, um, or pharmacies, as you might call them. Um, yeah, you can just get this thing anyway, and I think it just helps people get so get through their day. Oh, yeah, interrupt. save the game, why not? Uh, I actually, I I think this must be a new memory card or something, because I had loads of data, I've got on here, and it's gone. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm getting sidetracked and rambling on. Uh, yeah, it's mainly used for students, if they want to burn the candles by the they want to revision and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just going to actually, I'm just going to finish this up here now, because I need to check that everything's recorded properly. So I'll probably edit this bit out anyway, so I'll catch you on the flip side.